Alright guys, Scouts 311 back with Zoo Tycoon. And we got through the first scenario um, earlier, the Cambridge Shire Animal Park. The second one is Alaska. So let's work our way through this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, there's 20 of these. So we'll work our way through, you know, as much as we can here. And I've done the first three, I said that in the last video. I'm assuming they'll progressively get more difficult. You know, the game is not the most difficult game. At least I did one zoo, like I said before, and it wasn't that hard to make money. The one problem I had is the zoo actually, there's actually a limit to what you can put in the zoo. Once you reach a maximum amount of stuff, the game doesn't allow you to put anything else in unless you take something out, which is kind of weird. And I had a m tons of room that I could still build with. So that's the one thing that I did not like about it. Oh, but, well, we're not going to get into those problems with these scenarios, but it is something to, about later. Like you see underneath on the top, you have your money on the left, the zoo level in the middle, and then the people on the right. But underneath that is a bar that's about a quarter full. Once that bar reaches all the way, maxes out, you can't add anything else to your zoo. So it's almost about a quarter full now, about, say. And you see how big this zoo is. It's not that big. So three times of this is kind of maxing out, maybe so like that. But if you look, all the, you have all this room to play with. But you don't have, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, it, it limits to what you can put in there. So that's kind of weird. Now where's my zoo? <laughs> Where did my zoo go? I'm lost. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what do we got to do with this one? We need enrich the tropics, alpine enrichment, spruce up the savannah, species inspectors, feeding the animals, success without scrutiny. So there's a lot more stuff to do. Your animals in the tropical medium are a little bored, hungry, and dirty. Place an enrichment item in the exhibit to meet their needs. Okay, so the tropics is here. Um, the storm, the bonobo chimpanzee in the tropics is lonely. Instead of putting an enrichment item in, so this is a chimpanzee with zoo section, it looks like. They like climbing frames. So let's throw that in. Okay. Next is alpine enrichment. So this basically is just teaching about the enrichments this scenario here because it seems like that's the main goal. Alpine is over here, yes. And we got bears over here. And they like uh, slides, yes they do. View animal. You can really get close to like this polar bears. They look so freaking cool. And then we're in Alaska, so you can see the background. It looks like you're in Alaska. You know, it depends how the backgrounds actually switch up based on where you are, which is pretty, which is pretty cool too. Spruce up the savanna with an enrichment as well. So yeah, like I said before this one is all about enrichment items and learning how to use, learning what they are. So we got elephants over here, enrichments. Elephants like uh, rope toys? No, well they do, but they like weighted pools. I think the best. Yeah. Okay, so that is done. Uh, me, animals need to bring every animal's happiness into the green for three minutes. That's we had that last time. Impress the onlookers by demonstrating the feed and enrichment. And get our zoo, zoo to fame nine. So let's do a, f a feed and enrichment with the elephants. Well, that was weird. That was really weird. The game basically crashed on me to the, X the uh, home screen for the Xbox. I went straight there. The game totally crashed out, and I had to restart it. That's never happened before. 
I'm trying to think of something that I said, but I don't, there's nothing you say that completely crashes the game out. So that was very odd. But the good thing is it auto saves, so it's, we're still in the same spot where we were. Um, so we still need to do this enrichment for the feed the animals. So that was odd to say the least, but we are able to at least continue here. So without having to start over, very strange indeed. Okay, so let's get back to what we're doing. We're doing interaction for feeding. So we can get in here and mess around with this. They call over the animal. They do that on their own. They're not listening. Come on, animals. Coming over. It says to pick up food. I'm assuming he's coming over. Okay, there we go. Mm. All right, crowds were delighted. All right, so we fed our animal. Now, what is left here? Species inspectors. Is everybody, all the animals happy for three minutes? <clears throat> and then getting our zoo to level nine. So, we pretty much got to do similar to what we did in the last one, actually, is just make sure they have everything that they need to be happy. They already have their social need fixed up, I believe, here, so we're good with that. Um, the lion and the bears need, I'm sure, everything. The bears like fish, I'm sure, All right? Yeah. We already gave them their enrichment um, item. And the tropics here are the chimpanzees are in here. View animal. It's hard to see the chimps because they're so little. View animal. Come on. View animals. There he is. Oh, he's going on his thing too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. So they need social big time, hunger and cleanliness as well. That's level six, so we have to get to level nine. That's a lot of levels to get to. And we need adopt an animal. Adopt an animal. Thank you. I think the chimps need about four animals actually to be. Um, meet their social needs. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, if you build, like, a small tropical enclosure that holds three animals, and then you try to do chimps, you're in trouble, because you will not be able to meet their needs. So, that's the kind of stuff you have to think about. I, I screwed up when I started playing this game early because I did not do that properly. And I, didn't, I wasn't able to meet their needs when I was learning how to, what I was doing. And I, this continually in the red and it was a pain. And then I actually realized why. Okay, so everybody's in the green. So for three minutes, if they stay in the green, they're good. While they are doing that, we're going to continue to try to build up our zoo. We can also, I believe, just um, upgrade 
So we are six and a half. If we upgrade this for 2,000, it actually went up. So we can actually upgrade things that we already have, like the balloon shop. The restrooms we can upgrade too. And slowly we can, you know, cr upgrade the uh, decoration here. And these things will actually help raise our zoo level. Upgrade that coffee shop. Alright, so now we're at level 7. And I don't think we can upgrade yet until level 10. We can't upgrade to three stars, and I don't think anything really. Yeah. Can we upgrade the bear fountain? Yes, I don't know what we do by upgrading it, but we can do it. And how about the le lemur fountain? Sure. Okay, so we still need to add some more stuff in here. So what kind of stuff do we have, or are we able to do? Let's go with, uh, what animals can we put in that we don't actually need to research? Well, let's research anyway. Oh, I said research. There's a whole bunch of other research and things to do in this game, too. Besides, yeah, you do it at your, at the, in the front of the zoo, you can research a whole bunch of stuff. Um, antelopes need grasslands. And they need four animals, so they need a larger grass. Oh, this one likes savannas, actually. This one likes grasslands. Let's do a grasslands of these topies. And they need four as well. So we need to research them before we can use them. It takes These take 20 seconds to research. So four animal grasslands. So let's see if we can actually... We may have to research that, actually. Actually, I don't know if we can actually build that. Oh, we could do medium. It holds up a six. We can research that. Okay. It takes 1,200 to research. It takes a minute and a half. So while that's going, we can add some more stuff in here to try to get to level nine. It looks like we got the species inspectors ready. Yeah. So the only thing we have to do is get to level nine. That's about it. So we see if we can actually get that done here. Most of the stuff we have to research, you can only research one thing at a time. So that's where, while we're doing the other one, we can't you know, obviously do something else. So we have to kind of take our time with it. So we can add some animals, though, that we don't have to worry about researching. So let's add... This is the lizards I don't think we can actually do yet. We have to research them as well. Let's put the lemurs in here again. We did that earlier. Okay, level 8. Adopt an animal. So we got three in there, they'll be happy. They're running around. The lemurs are pretty hilarious, I think. Okay. And our grassland medium is done, so we can build that. Let's put that out here somewhere. Adopt an animal. Throw our topi antelope in here, and they need four. Level nine. Oh, we're done already. That's all we had to do. You put a big enclosure, and it really le levels up your zoo fast. So, at least let's see what the animal looks like before we put out. Since we actually added them in. I believe if you stay in the scenarios, they actually will start giving you more challenges, but it's not necessary. Like, your animal happiness is a new one. We actually completed it, though, so we're not going to just stay in here. We're going to complete it and then move on to the next one. View animal. We have our antelope. 
looking guy. Alright, cool. So we are done with this one. Knocked it out of the park. So, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll move on with one another one later on. Take care.